Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. I this was actually not requested. I got this video idea from watching Alicia Marie's room tour video, and if you haven't seen it, or if you have, or if you haven't seen it, then you probably don't know what this tutorial is about. Obviously, but if you have seen it, then you should know. It, this tutorial is basically um, how she did her little circle thing right here. Okay, so yeah, it's the circle thing. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, make it. Um, hopefully she's not using her footage or spilling this little editing hack secret. It's actually pretty simple. I've done something similar to this before in one of my videos on uh, the Wi-Fi addicts. So I had this little thing right here, and I was talking to myself. So that's basically kind of same. Like I use the same technique to do it. So the first, you're gonna go to a background. You want to get the background to be green. It doesn't really matter the size, if you hit widescreen, you can do the exact size you need to, which is 12, 80, 7, 20, but that's too much work, and I've done this with, like, all of my hacks are with widescreen, and it's perfectly, like, the same size for IBV. I'm gonna go to shape, and you wanna get a circle, and I like to go to a range and just constrain the proportions, and you can leave the fill of the circle at any color, and we'll get to why it doesn't matter in a second. Okay, I think I'm going to get a border, a line border, and I just did white because Alicia, I noticed that she had like a white, um, fill circle a little bit, if you know what I mean. Not really, like, see, she's just a white border, and then she has, and then you want to copy and paste the circle that make that one a little bit bigger than that one, and arrange it to where it's in the back, and change the border color. I'm just going to change mine to, let's do pink, and you can't really see it, so I'm just going to increase the size of it. Oh, that's a little too much. It actually does good. 25. I will and export it to images. Okay. Then you want to export it. I'm just going to export it as a, as a thing. And uh, it's going to replace my file, but I'm not replacing anything. Like I'm just redoing the whole thing. So, um, Okay, now we're going to just exit out of the keynote. You won't need it anymore. Sign it to the screen. There's no other distractions here. And then you want to click on it. Okay, and if you have a MacBook, Preview will open it for you. And, well, I mean, you can't have iMovie unless you have a MacBook or unless you have a phone. I don't really know how this would work for you. Um, and you want to go to this little tool right here. It's a little wand. And basically, it, whatever you select, it, like the same color, it, it will select. And you want to just select this whole part here and click delete and it's going to ask you to convert it to a PNG and you want to press convert and now this entire thing is transparent. Now you want to open up iMovie and as you can see I already have it open. I'm going to use this clip of her talking her intro because it's just You're going back to because it's just a nice still shot and I'm going to delete the rest of this because you already know what I'm going to do. Well actually I'm going to like leave a little clip. So we can compare it. Then you're going to want to go get your file and you just want to drag it into iMovie. Put it over this and you want to leave it as a cutaway and you want to press fit like the crop size. And uh, this is basically what you end up we're with. We're going back to OG YouTube we are doing a room tour. Now we need to save it. Okay so then I don't want to waste um, footage time or like filming time. I already had it saved with a different circle, the different circle outline. <clears throat> right here. You're going back to. So yeah, that's that. And then you just want to take this clip and put it over this one. You can just slide it down to the clip so that it's fist a time. And you're going to want to do green screen. And that's basically how you do it. You're going back to OG YouTube. Um, with the whole moving around part, uh, that part is a little bit tricky because you have to go into picture in picture and make the image, like, her actual circle move around, but then you would have to try to figure out how to get rid of this part. So, at the moment, I don't know how to uh, do that in that movie. That is about as far as the tutorial goes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you know how to do that, then let us know in the comments. That would be really helpful. It would be really cool. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Leave your request in the description. Okay, I am so proud of myself because I actually figured out how to make it move across the screen. 
basically you want to take this clip that you already have and then you want to take a green background. I just took this clip and I just zoomed in on the green part because I was too lazy to save. To save a new picture, first of all, the bad thing about this method is that you have to know where you want to move it or if, sorry, I got a text message. Um, if you don't care about where it goes, then you can just freehand it, but I don't think Alicia Murray really planned out where it wanted to go. She just kind of did it, so it doesn't really matter that much. So you want to go into... You want to put it over the blue back, I mean the green background. You want to do picture in picture. And uh, then you just want to size it how you want it to be. Go to the beginning. Hold on. Take off the fade. You don't want any fade. You want to take this and drag all to the beginning of the clip. And press that, which is the keying feature. You want to play it for like a millisecond. And then move it. Face bar. Move it, spacebar. You can even increase the size, and then spacebar. And basically, you do that like the whole time. You want to play it, and it's moving around. You guys, I am so proud of myself figuring this out. It's taking a while to save. All right, so now we can drag it into iMovie. And you want to press green screen. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Here is the final result, and it's um, pretty cool, I would say myself. I am really proud of myself for, oh look, perfect time, uh, yes, Alicia, okay. Yeah, on that note, I'm going to leave now. Goodbye.